Brody on the line, I'm tapping in. Got out here pulling the strings for me. A girl on the line, she, she feeling me. Got me by the motivation. Put in the time, pay the entry fee. Bro on the right, she kinda nice. Inside of my mind, no one's good as me. Late, life has been gorgeous. Make up the clear, my eyes are recorded. Praise to God, I ain't chasing a bitch. Swing in the mist, got me hitting these licks. I get the orders, don't get it distorted. Disconnected, I've been cordless, I've been cordial, I've been exploring. I gotta hold out, but some high, one more of it. Yeah, I wanna tour, man. Put up the soil. Hey, I'm here today bring a review of these bad boys. These are the rival RV80 Impulse bag gloves. Uh, it's one hell of a name. Um, it's one of the latest gloves to come out from Rival. Uh, quick note, these are the bag glove edition, not the sparring edition. So obviously I'm reviewing these from my experience using them on like pads and bags and so on. Not from sparring, just keep that a note. Um, first things I brought the uh, size small, I'm about 64 kilos. Um, usually probably fight around 60, 61. So take this note, I brought a small and they are very, very tight. They're a super snug fit. Um, I wouldn't be able to get my hand in these with wraps on. If I did, it's gonna hurt, to be honest with you. Um, they're that tight of a fit. So if you're around my size, I would probably think of going for the medium. Maybe the small is more like a youth size. Um, so if I was to try again, I'd like to try medium, to be honest with you. Um, see how they fit and compare. But um, other than that, small fit's all right. And, Got no complaints about them to be honest with you. Into the features of the glove, so you've got the obviously the ergo strap um, from Rival. Uh, one of the best things to be honest with you about the glove uh, provides a great fit when you have them on. Uh, nice angled strap, keeps them secure. Velcro is great Velcro. Um, you're not going to get any problems with it fraying or slipping or coming undone when you're um, training. The strap's chunky to the what would be the inside of the glove, I guess you could say, and then comes around as it goes around into a narrower fit. Um, the strap fits in a nice little groove as well. I have some B-roll up for you so you can see. Um, with it fitting in, it's just nice. It means that when you're um, training, it's not going to catch on anything as you brush anything. It's always a great feature to have. Yeah, high density layered foam, and this foam is proper dense. Um, it's really hard, but um, honestly, I've been using it on all sorts of bags, soft bags, hard bags, mitts, and it's probably one of the best foams I've ever used. It feels hella durable. Um, it's got some nice cushioning on it. Um, honestly, when you're punching the bag, it's like, I have no fear wearing these gloves without wraps and punching the bag as hard as I possibly can. Like, obviously, I'm not the biggest punch in the world, but honestly, the support you get in these gloves and with it being such a snug fit, keeps your hands super compact. Um, it's great if you want it for like just doing some bag sessions and that, or just running with your coach, you're not sparring or anything. 100% recommend these gloves. You haven't got to put wraps on or nothing, just whack them on, a snug fit. The foam is brilliant in it. It's durable, it's held up amazing. Only can say it did take a while to break in um, because it's such a snug fit, um, trying to get it to fit your hand properly and being such a compact glove and the foam, uh, the foam being so dense, uh, can take a while to break in for your hand. Um, I'd probably say about, probably about 25 rounds of like heavy bag work. So if you're just doing it like light, maybe probably like 50 rounds on the bag. But honestly, once they're broken in, it's an amazing feeling. Uh, next up, so next up, you've got like, like the uh, inside of the glove, which is a, a microfiber lining. It's got the breathability on the orange part on the inside of the palm of the hand. Um, I can we just say while we're on the aspect of colors and that, these are a great color glove. Um, they also do the gray and red ones, which also look awesome. Um, I think these actually look insane, probably one of the best uh, stylistic or however you would say it, crafted gloves on the market right now. Uh, I think they look absolutely amazing. Uh, obviously you've got the different pieces of the green going in with the black and that hit of orange. Just mm, really does it. Proper nice stuff there from Rival. 
but I think that's pretty much it to be honest with you. Um, I absolutely love these gloves. I um, would highly recommend them for anyone doing bag work, uh, pad work that needs a separate glove compared to their Spara glove. Um, they just fit awesome. The foam is great. They look good. Honestly, what more could you want from a glove at the end of the day? Um, they're pretty affordable to be honest with you at the end of the day. I think they run about £80 for the bag ones. I will correct it on screen if I am wrong. Um, but they're absolutely brilliant. The build quality is awesome. I've had no faults with them at all and I've done a lot of rounders in these. The thumb fits well. Um, there's a good amount of length in the palm and in the finger area. Um, got a nice little grip bar on the inside. It's not too firm, not too soft. It's Honestly, in terms of bag gloves as far as they go, if it was... The only thing I'd say is on the knuckle padding, if they could just like... I don't know if it fits funny, but it kind of feels like it will catch on the back of your knuckle rather than the front. So when you punch, it kind of pulls your knuckle round a bit. Again, maybe I brought a size too small. Um, but at the same time, if you didn't have that snug fit, I feel like you would need to wear wraps. And with these, I feel no obligation to wear wraps in them. They're a perfect glove. And if you're looking for something for bag work, 100%, check these out, give them a go. Um, and if you do, let me know how you get on. That's it for the view, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And if you've got any thin, if you got anything that you want me to review, um, any gloves that you really want to try out, can't get your hands on, give me a shout. I'll see what I can do. And I'll catch you next time. Yeah. I didn't really follow the um.